I'm about to solve a problem that most home-based CNC router owners experience at such random intervals and at such the wrong time that it irks the heck out of them because they can't figure out why it's happening. Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. Have you ever been running your CNC router, a nice long cut project, you know, something's gonna be really nice when it's done, and you're about 45 minutes into it, and then out of the blue, randomly, the router just stops moving. The router motor is still running, but the router's not going anywhere. So you go over to your controller, your computer, and it says it should be running. So you try to hit the start button, and, and it just sits there. You end up having to stop it, reset everything, and start all over again. That 45 minutes wasted, and you have no idea why. There's nothing more irritating than something like that happening. And it just happened to me. Not the first time, but this time I understand exactly what happened and now how to solve it. And I am going to share that with you so you know exactly why it's happening and how you can solve it today. I've been making these I love you mom signs, very quaint and simple. It's got a, a little pocket all around here and a little V cut here. Well, in the middle of this one, the router just quit. It's what I was doing that actually made it quit. You see, while this was running, I was over there on my workbench, but I was deburring a couple of burrs that were on there and using my Dremel. When I looked up, the router was just standing there. And that's when it all hit. What had happened was I turned on the Dremel at the exact right time, and that sent a spike through the electrical system and that in a turn affected this guy right here. So let's go into this a little bit to explain to you what's going on and what I think is actually happening at a deeper level. A lot of times when that router quits, people think it's the controlling software. This is universal G-code sender. I don't think it is because the software is saying that it should be running. What I think is going on is the controller for the CNC router has received a spike while it is doing pulse counts at the exact right time in that pulse count where it loses count. Now when I say pulse counts, this is a stepper motor and it requires pulses, a lot of pulses to move to get to where it's going and of course the motors have to be coordinated. So that's what this guy is policing. That is absorbing data from your software the G code that's being sent and it can only handle so much so it's like a gate and it's got the gate closed while it's processing some of that data and getting the move going and when it's ready for some more information it opens the gate well I think what's happening is this loses count and as soon as it loses count it doesn't know what to do so it just freezes up in the meantime that gate is closed and so your control software it is like trying to push information. It's in the middle of doing that, and it won't do it. So that's why the control software freezes up, because it doesn't know what to do now. Basically, what's happening, when you turn something like this on, even like as a coffee maker will do it, there is a sudden drop in power in your system, and when the device receives that power that it needs to amp up to whatever it needs to amp up to, mellows down and you get a spike that kicks back through the system and that spike is what's causing this problem so don't turn stuff on while it's running turn it on beforehand the better thing to do which is what i am doing is getting a surge protector not a power strip a surge protector the true blue surge protector this is the surge protector i've decided to get for a number of reasons it's got 12 outlets on it it's a short circuit protector, so if something shorts out, it won't irritate other things in the system. And it's got a long cord, and it's a tower, so I can put it wherever I want. It doesn't take up a lot of real estate. And finally, it's got good power ratings to it and settings on it. And the ratings are all good for it. So this is a little pricier than some of the other ones, but you want to make sure that you don't get a power strip, get a good surge protector. A link for this one will be down below in the description. It's going to plug into my CNC router, into the controller, and into my laptop.
that'll smooth everything out. And I figure I spent a thousand dollars on this machine. I'm going to get the right surge protectors. I am actually going to prove that this works by running this program without the part in there. And I'm going to start turning things on and off and show you exactly that that happens at just unusual times. I'm going to turn the vacuum on and off and I'm going to turn on and off other devices until that thing freezes up and I'll have the camera on the router. So I'm not getting with the shop, but I'm going to go over and try to run it. Back to the shop back. There, it just went. So, the way to stop this, one of two ways, is be aware that when you're running this thing, not to turn on any power surging devices like the shop vac or a Dremel. It happened with the Dremel while I was working with that. And the other thing is, is figure out how to get a spike protector into the system to the controller on your CNC router. And that, my awesome CNC creating friend, is why your router quits so randomly in the middle of a project. Get your router surge protected. Again, I found one that I like. There's a link down in the description below so you can get that one or whatever you want to get. I looked at it this way. I spent $1,000 on this Bob's Evolution 4 CNC router. I'm not going to cheat myself out on the surge protector. That's why I picked a fairly good one. If you've experienced that and have gone through this, why is it quitting thing? And now you've got the aha moment. <laughs> Put down the comments. Oh, now I get it. And give me a like. And if you're brand new to CNC's and still trying to figure things out, subscribe to this channel because this is all the kind of stuff I give you. Plus, I dive deep into the design of projects. I dive deep into how CNC routers work, how you can set them up. And uh, yeah, I, I want every CNCer, the amazing creator CNCer, to be able to create stuff. I want to make it as easy as possible.